Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the odds ever in your favor. I'm holding 10 dice in my hands here. What are the chances that I drop them and I'm able to guess the number that it adds up to? Let's see if I can do it. Okay, so first let's write down my guess. I'm going to guess 35. Okay, now let's give them a roll. Now let's add them up. We have 6, 9, 11, 14, 16, 19, 24, 28, 30, 35. <laughs> right on. So how was I able to know that these would all add up to 35? Well, let me give you a hint with a lot more dice. So I have a beaker with 100 dice in it. Let's roll them and see what the total is. Okay, we have six, seven, 368. Do it again. The total is 342. You'll notice that each roll is around 350 total. In fact, it's really hard to get anything out of the 300s. So I'm gonna roll these 100 dice 100 times and then make it on a graph here. And here's what it looks like. So the minimum I could get is 100, so that's at the bottom. And the maximum I could get is 600, that's at the top. But notice how I never actually get anything that's below 300 or above 400. If you do this thousands of times and then plot out the percentage of time you got a specific roll total, this is what it will look like. Notice that I have about a 0% chance of rolling anything with a total more than 400 or less than 300. And also I have a 2.3% chance of any time I roll 100 six-sided dice that the total is going to be 350 exactly. So where does the 35 number come from with a six-sided die? Let's get a really easy dice, like a coin. So if I have a coin here and I write one on one side and two on the other side, that's basically a two-sided die. And I flip the coin. So let's say I flip the coin 10 times. About half the time I'm gonna get one and about half the time I'm gonna get two. So if I add up the total number that I get, I'm gonna get all the ones plus all the twos. So that's five ones and five twos. And if I add those all together, that's 15. And I flip the coin 10 times. So on average, I got 1.5 per flip. So the 1.5 comes from taking the average between one and two, which is 1.5, halfway in between. But a dice doesn't just have two sides, it has six sides. So you take the average between one and six, which is 3.5. And then you just multiply it by however many dice you have. So that means the most probable number to get with two dice is seven. The most probable number to get with 10 dice is 35. So that's how I came up with 35 when I guessed the most probable number that the total number of dice would equal. So I only had to do a few rolls before sure enough I got 35. But if you're ever trying to guess the total roll of a certain number of die, remember that the more dice you have, the more tight the probability spread is. The less dice you have, the more wide it's spread. So why does that middle number end up being the number that's chosen the most? It's because of all the permutations of numbers you can get on each of the individual die, there are more ways to add up to a number that's right in the middle. For example, to roll a seven with two dice, you can either get a five and a two, a four and a three, or a six and a one. But to roll a 12, you have to get a six and a six. There's only one way to do it. So there are more ways to get a number that's right in the middle than those side numbers. So that's why the probability is much higher right in the middle. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet or hit the bell to be notified when I release my latest video. And check out Action Lab Shorts, which is my second channel that I do videos similar to this one, but I do them in less than a minute. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.